What is good everybody? Today we are back with a brand new reaction style video for you and I'm excited about this one because we haven't done this in quite a bit here. We have a brand new reaction to an article here and I was doing some research for one of my videos. I think it was the worst WWE Elite in every main series or whatever the hell it was and I stumbled across this article and I remember doing the reacting to the top 10 best WWE figures ever and it was a pretty fun video. So I figured today man let's react to this. I thought this was hilarious. I haven't checked on any of the figures. I just saw the title and I saw the Elite's feature here and I was like, oh my god, what is this? So this is from the Sportster, as you guys will see. 10 ugliest wrestling action figures ever, comma, ranked. So uh, we're going to read through this article. Apparently this is from April 22nd, 2020. I'm excited for it. It should be fun, man. You guys know that I like to rank figures, obviously. So today this should be fun, man. We're going to get into it. You can see they have the Attitude Era Elite Chris Jericho. They have this basic Ronda Rousey. We got the Attitude Era Rock. And we have the Attitude Era Stone Cold. The most random figures that you've ever seen here. Three from one set and then just a random Ronda Rousey basic right here but I'm excited man let's dive into this I think it should be hysterical let's get into it man let's read down here it says it must be a great feeling having your having you own action figure made after you it must be a great feeling having you own action figure made after you it can become a collectible or just something kids can play with but you could only imagine what it feels like having your own action figure and it comes out not looking so good some wrestlers may not take how an action figure looks that serious while some will take it to heart we take a look at some of the ugliest wrestling action figures ever so at number 10, Nikki Cross, Elite 66 Nikki Cross. It's actually funny because in that worst WWE Elite in every series video, the Elite 66 choice was Nikki Cross. So I really, you know, I, I mean, this is back in 2020. So you got to think the last four years, there's no, there's not going to be any ugly action figures from then. But geez, man, Nikki Cross getting the 10th ugliest wrestling action figure of all time right here. Says they made an effort with the jumpsuit and the little Scottish flag on it. But besides that, if you had to guess who this was and the flag wasn't visible, you would have no idea who that is. The, the hair is neat and not that ugly, but Cross's hair has never been neat like that. The face is just so unrecognizable, and I can I can agree somewhat. I did put this in my worst WWE Elite from Elite Series 66, and it is what it is, man. Let's go down here. I'm going to try to scroll very slowly because I don't want to ruin anything, but number nine, we have a ruthless aggression Rob Van Dam. This, to me, looks like a serviceable Rob Van Dam. I don't know why this figure would be here, but let's read. Let's go down here and read. It says, well, at least Rob Van Dam can't complain about the amount of muscles they put on his figure because they gave him much more than he has in real life. That's as much <laughs> That's as much good the figure has to offer, though. RVD is one of the most chill wrestlers in WWE history. He literally has yin and yang signs on his outfit, so it's weird seeing this action figure with an angry face, and even if RVD were to make an angry face, it would look nothing like this. I think for the time being, man, this is not a terrible angry head sculpt, and everybody gets mad, man. Everybody, it's like a basic human emotion. I have no idea what this guy's talking about. Uh, number nine is Rob Van Dam. That's a very interesting choice. Number eight is Michelle McCool, and they went with the base Mattel Michelle McCool figure right here. Very, very interesting. And I can already tell, Jesus, this figure is pretty. This doesn't look anything like Michelle McCool. This may have been a big pick right here. Basic Series 7, man. We have come so far. Michelle McCool already had to deal with AJ Styles trash talking about her and her husband, The Undertaker, last month. She didn't deserve an action figure that looks like this either. And it is the Michelle McCool basic. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not the best basic, but this is very early on in the Mattel history, man. Uh, you know what? I guess it's serviceable. It's a serviceable figure. Michelle McCool coming in at number 8. I... I I don't know. I can't really hate on it. It's just a funny... I think that's the funniest title of an article you've ever seen. The ugliest wrestling action figures of all time. Let's let's continue on here. Number seven. Let's move on down. Kevin Owens. Interesting. This basic Kevin Owens. And this... I actually am not the biggest fan of this head sculpt, but it's funny that this is here because I think the Elite 43 Kevin Owens, much worse head sculpts. There are way worse Kevin Owens head sculpts than this one right here. And this is the Elite 47 head sculpt. And I remember this head sculpt fondly. And I did or not fondly. I didn't... I don't know. I liked it because it was an upgrade from the Elite 43 that was dreadful, but... Let's read what he put here. Maybe whoever made the figures got Robert Roode mixed up with Kevin Owens somehow. This action figure is very slim and the face doesn't even come close to drawing similarities to Owens. This really just looks like an ugly version of Bobby Roode. Why? Why? Uh, I mean, I guess it kind of favors Bobby Roode, but they don't understand that basics are typically slimmer than elites. You know, they're not as accurate, I guess you could say, but I don't know. Fair take, I guess. It's just a very random Kevin Owens basic. I I, I think there's much uglier wrestling action figures than this. Well, let's move on to number six. It's going to be Charlotte Flair, and I remember this basic, man. I remember this. This is actually the dark days of WWE action figures in terms of basics. This is, I remember this finally, this is around the time of like Elite 55, 56, 57, and the, the basics around this era were terrible. There was a lot of bad basics around this time, but this Charlotte figure, 
Yeah, not the best face sculpt of all time. Let's see what it says here. Of all the superstars you messed up an action figure with, they did it to the Queen. Arguably the best female wrestler in WWE history. And this action figure is one of the worst female action figures of all time. Maybe one could assume this is supposed to be her early NXT days because Flair's more muscular than this in real life. They got the mole under her lip right, but besides that, the face on this toy is a travesty. Jesus, man. So they're ripping it up. And I will agree. We've talked about this so many times on the channel, but I don't know why this Charlotte would be the flat flagship of the basic movement, you know what I mean? I, I've talked about how flat basics look for women's figures for a very long time, and this was four years ago, so I think it still kind of holds up today, but I don't know, fair shake, I guess. I don't think the head sculpt's the worst I've ever seen, though. I've, I've definitely seen worse Charlotte flares, I think, than this, but I could be wrong. Let's move on to number five. Number five, Cedric Alexander? What in the hell is this, man? Like, what? Like, what is this? I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? That is, that is just the correct, my, my mouse is stuck. Why is my mouse stuck? I don't like that. Why is it stuck? My mouse is completely frozen. Why is the Elite 67 Cedric Alexander just catching heat right here? That is so random, I feel like. But never mind the fact that this face doesn't even come close to comparing to Alexander's. Why does this action figure have different colored eyes? Maybe they were trying to match the eyes with the Cruiserweight title? What in the hell is this thing talking about? What it, am I missing something, Brad? I, I don't understand this one at all. Cedric Alexander is the fifth ugliest wrestling figure of all time. That's that's crazy, man. I, I thought that it may be talking about the musculature of the figure, but I actually like this Cedric Alexander besides the Daniel Bryan torso, which we talked about. That is hilarious. Just catching a stray here in the re ugliest wrestling action figures of all time countdown. I am so intrigued. I can't, I can't wait to proceed on with what we have here. Let's go on to number four. And number four is going to be The Bar. Holy crap. What a trip down memory lane. The Bar, man. This is actually actually not even a bad battle pack. I don't know what, why do they hate this? I mean, Seamus looks a bit chunky, I will say. He does look a little chunky in the face, and it looks like Cesaro has his mouth guard in, I bet. I bet they're gonna say something about the mouth guard, how much you wanna bet, but Seamus' action figure isn't even that bad. It's Cesaro's that is so terrible. It makes both of them look bad. Cesaro looks like a senior citizen, older than any Ric Flair action figure there is out there. Seamus' face is a bit more chubbier than in real life. I could see that, I could see that. But his action figure as a whole isn't bad. Cesaro's action figure is so bad, it's hysterical, though. I, I don't know, man. I don't hate this head sculpt. I actually forgot this head sculpt existed, but I don't think it's the worst or the, you know, the ugliest I think I've ever seen. I will say he looks a bit old, you know, I could see that, but the likeness is pretty uncanny, I'd say. I think that, you know, he kind of looks like my papa, which I guess is their whole point, I guess, my uh, my late great papa there. But the Seamus face, I can see that. I think that's just hilarious. It just seems, I, I don't know, the, I have no idea where the next figure is going to go, you know what I mean? So I think it's so funny how they've, how they've done this here. Let's move on to what number three is going to be Edge, and they went with this red. Like, dude, there's so many. They've they've been Mattel for the last what four or five spots, and now they're just going. They're going to Jax like immediately. I guarantee you that Jax and some other figures could have filled up this whole entire countdown. I don't think they know Ugly Brad. I don't know if they really know what Ugly is, but we have a build and brawl edge figure, and I don't even hate this head sculpt. Do they realize that these figures are are very small? Like, do, do they understand how difficult it would be to nail a likeness at that scale? I don't think they understand that, Brad. I don't think, I don't think they said, like, look at the likeness here on the top corner of the packaging, and it looks pretty detailed. I don't know. Let's see what it says here. Maybe this action figure was made while Edge was retired, and the creators weren't able to find him to use his face to make this figure. This is just some guy with long hair and a beard. There's nothing to compare the face to. It looks like they put a random face on the figure and hoped the long hair and pants would be enough. I think AI wrote this article, Brad. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I'm not seeing what they're stepping in there. Is it the best head sculpt of all time? I don't think so, but I don't know, man. I think they're being a little bit harsh here. I think this is a bit harsh on this one right here. I'm not entirely buying in to it, but Build and Brawl Edge at number three, let's move on to number two, The Usos. The Usos, this really old battle pack of The Usos. They've come a long way, and my God, I will say, these head sculpts don't look anything like the two, but let's read on. This is so funny, though. What in the world did they do to Jimmy? Left side, boy, did they know. I mean, they, they have messed Jimmy up for a, for a long time, apparently. Jay's action figure looks hideous as well, but it looks like they made Jimmy cross-eyed, and he doesn't even look Samoan whatsoever. <laughs> My God, man. What an epic battle pack of the Usos, man. This is uh, a really cool pack, though, to be honest with you. It's so early on, you know, for the Usos. I think it's really sick. I mean, it's way before, you know, it's just so cool to see them progress from this time to modern day. But my God, that is so funny. I mean, yeah, both of these figures do not look good whatsoever. But my God, man, they are just drilling Mattel. And I don't think I would have included... Like, I don't know. I don't judge basics and stuff as harshly as I do elites and ultimates. But man, 
This, this is hysterical. I'm so glad I made this video. This is fantastic. Let's move on. The number one ugliest wrestling action figure of all time. Let's find out what the hell could they possibly put on here. At least the figures, I mean, some of the head scratchers so far, I guess we could get into the head scratch. Let's, let's get into the fun, the finale here, and then we can go back and we can dive into what maybe was, you know, uh, you know, kind of uncalled for or whatever, man. Let's go down. Number one, Xavier Woods, and they went with this basic, and I mean... It's not a great basic head sculpt. I remember when this came out. This is hilarious. Out of all the things they messed up on this action figure, they couldn't even get one of his dimples to show in the face. No dimples and no features at all that resemble Woods in real life. You'd think Woods' face would be one of the more easier faces. What in the hell does that even mean? You'd think Woods' face would be one of the more easier faces, but that wasn't the case here. What the hell does that even mean? Like, what do you... You'd think his face would be easy to make. What are you saying? What are you saying? What are you saying? That's hilarious. That's hilarious as hell. So that wraps it up, man. That is the top 10 ugliest wrestling action figures ever. I think that, you know, like I will say, this head sculpt's not great. He kind of looks a little bit derpy or whatever. This is earlier on. I'd say this is what, like 2016-ish? 2016, I think, is when this figure came out. Maybe 20, early 2017. I think it was like the end of 2016, maybe. And then, you know, this Jay and Jimmy battle pack. This Uso's battle pack's not very good. Build and Brawl Edge. Just such a random selection for this countdown. But I think the most out-of-pocket crazy one is Cedric Alexander. Yeah, it's not the best true effects ever, but my God, I thought it was... Like, he needs an update, but geez, man, they're, they're just destroying this figure. Like, Cedric Alexander, just the most random Hail Mary assault on the Cedric Alexander that I've ever seen. I don't know. Maybe you guys feel... Is it the... Is it the ugly ugliest wrestling figure you've ever seen? Is it the fifth ugliest wrestling action figure that you've ever seen? Oh my goodness, I had to make a video out of that. I thought this was just great, stumbling across this article. I wish I could find more articles like this to react to. You know, you, you don't stumble across them so many times. If you guys can find some other... If you guys find any articles out there, you send me the links on Instagram or, or something like that, man. Make me aware of these. We'll react to more of these. I actually enjoy this, so stumbling across this was hilarious. I don't see any others in the recommended here. But my God, I thought this would be fun, and it was. I had a lot of fun here. I didn't know any of them coming in, so that really made it, you know, especially fun. I wanted to full on react to it as it was happening. I saw the title, and I was like, "Dude, I gotta make a, I gotta make a video out of this." And I had no idea that it would be Mattel. I mean, I had an idea because of the cover graphic here with the Attitude Era elites, but I had, you never know, you know. Sometimes they just put stuff up there. And I'm pretty sure people have used thumbnails of mine for articles and stuff like that beforehand. So you never know what the hell you're going to get out of the article. It may not have anything to do with what was in the thumbnail of the article or what the portrayal cover is there. So I don't know, man. I have no idea, but I think this was a hell of a lot of fun. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me all your thoughts, man. Do you think this is the ugliest wrestling figures ever? I don't think they were around for the Jax days, man. There were some horrendous... Bone Crunchers, Jack Specifics, Titan Tron Live. There were so many, there's so many damn ugly figures out there, man. And I think in the modern day, like if you look at it through a modern scope, it is a lot more fun because the technology is a lot more updated. You know, they were, you know, I don't think people were taking the most pride in performance back in the day. But this was still a lot of fun, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members, man. You guys are unbelievable. Thank you guys so very much for all of the support. As always, you guys are incredible. I appreciate you so much every single day. But I'm getting the hell out, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below on this. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one. And I'll see you guys next time. Again, I, sa I said next time twice. I'm sorry.